I did a bad thing. I broke my 3D printer. And I wouldn't really say broke as much as I would say I printed a lot of parts and now it's making a really bad noise. And this is actually the first time I've had trouble with it since I bought it almost five years ago. So today we're gonna take my printer apart, try and fix it, and then try and make a part. Most important thing first, I'm gonna to have to ask you to ignore everything going on over here today and especially what's over there because I'm working on a special little Christmas present for my brother that we, we can't really spill the secret. But right here we have my 3D printer. I've had this, I think actually doing the math, almost six years now. And I was doing a, a print recently. Usually when I do a longer print, if it's 10, 12 hours or longer, I set it up before I go to bed and I wake up in the morning and hopefully have something printed. Sometimes I've got a big ball of melted plastic. And well, I, I came in after a long night of printing and I heard a noise that if we turn it on, that's not, it's not a good noise. It sounds like a grinding noise. And it sounds like it's coming from somewhere, somewhere down here in the base of the machine. The machine still prints just fine, but I, I don't like that noise. And I did a little research and there's a couple of cooling fans down in the base of the machine. And so if I were to guess, I would think one of the cooling fans has gone bad. And if I just ignore it, the machine probably will eventually overheat and, and the whole thing will melt down. So we're gonna take the base apart. I've already actually ordered a few different cooling fans. All the cooling fans, I think, are in the bottom of the machine. And hopefully we have the right one. And hopefully it's the easy one. Because one cooling fan, super easy to get to. Other ones are attached to circuit boards and attached to uh, power supplies. So ho hopefully it's the easy one, not, not the hard one. Taking the base of the printer off seems pretty easy. There's just four screws, two on each side that I feel like if I undo these, I can get into the guts of the printer. And when I do this, I must say, I've been really shocked that this thing hasn't broken down in the last six years. I just do the maintenance, lubricate all the moving parts, keep dust and dog hair out of the gears, and it's done really, really well. The biggest, the biggest problem has been me trying to learn how to use a 3D printer. But let's see if we can get it fixed. There's really not too much going on down here. We have a control board for our controls and SD card slot on the front. We have our power supply coming in here. We have another control board that looks like it runs the stepper motors. And we have two fans. One fan inside the power supply unit, which is pretty, look, looks difficult to get to. And another fan up here that looks really easy to get to. I did already track down and order these different fans. So hopefully, hopefully it's this one which should be one of these, which that would be, that would be the easy fix. But let's turn it on and see which one's making the noise. Yeah, definitely, definitely this one. Also a little concerned that this fan isn't even spinning. Uh, we're just gonna worry about the one making noise. Maybe this one only comes on when the machine's printing. I'm gonna have to look that up. That, oh, sorry. That actually came off without breaking anything, which surprised me because this little connector was glued on pretty good. So this is the same fan. We're gonna get the new one wired up and then we're going to try and print something. And also we're gonna see if we can find out what was wrong with this fan because I've got a power supply we can hook it up to and see why, why after all these years it started making noise. And just like that, we are all back together. Machine's back together, but first we have our offending fan in question that was making all the noise. And we can hook it up to our power supply. It is set to 24 volts since it's a 24 volt fan. And, and it's really quiet. And, and then my leads just fell off. Let's, let's try this again. I don't know, I don't know if you can hear that, but it, it's not sounding good. I think the little bearing in it probably just went bad after six years of trying to keep trying to keep a 3D printer, which gets surprisingly, surprisingly hot to melt all the plastic. So it's replaced. Hopefully the one that went in lasts another six years. Now we need to print something to make sure it's still working. And we could print something useful, or we could print the uh, special snowman uh, Christmas tree topper. My friend has been asking me to print for years now, but I think we're gonna print something a little special. We're just gonna delete this adorable snowman Christmas tree topper that my friend wants. Goodbye. 
and replace it with this adorable tiny four post lift. It seems like we've had a success. My printer is no longer making horrible noises and it's successfully printing. And if you're wondering why I needed a tiny car lift, well, it's because I keep a Hot Wheels of every car I've ever had. But the problem is, in real life, the Healy lives on top of the Volkswagen and that just wasn't accurately represented in my Hot Wheels collection. So now the Healy Hot Wheels lives above the Volkswagen Hot Wheels, which it's actually pretty true to real life because this thing barely fits on here. It's about to fall off. And that's exactly what it's like in real life. That thing barely fits up there. It's, it's too small for the lift. But more importantly, the 3D printer is working again. And all it took was a $5 part from Amazon to fix it. And considering I've had this thing and used it quite a bit over six years, and all that's gone bad is this fan, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. There's a lot of new printers out there, printers that print in resin and printers that print in really cool materials, printers that are faster, they have better resolution, but this thing's still holding in there, so I think I'm gonna stick with it for a while. Well, I guess now that it's working, I probably can print that Christmas tree topper for my friend. According to my computer, it's gonna take 22 hours to print, so I suppose I can, I can get that file started, and then I can go to the gym, and then I can eat dinner, and then I can get cleaned up, and then I can go to bed, and then I can wake up and have breakfast, and then go to work for a while, and, and have my whole day tomorrow, and then at some point tomorrow night, I can come check and see if my Christmas tree topper is done. So actually, maybe maybe I'm gonna look into one of those those faster 3D printers. Uh, so until next time, I'm actually I just told you everything I'm gonna do. So I'm head to the gym and then dinner and then a shower and then bed and then wake up and work. The bad thing about training your dog to <clears throat> get a dog treat every time you go in the garage is they follow you into the garage even if you're just coming out for one second to grab something. You want a cookie? How? Oh. You Murphy? I was talking to the camera about Murphy, and now the camera's recording you as I talk to you. Is it looking at me? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're staring right at it. <laughs>